Hollywood, Jimmy Habish on here as the lead the leader of intellectual badasses. Introducing you to our channel with anime abuse, gaming views, and everything else a talkers love to see. And here come my partner. Devil Sasuke A twenty at Shell Service. And my sister. And today, and, dang, and today we'll be talking about new Nintendo games and more stuff that's going on Nintendo. And I'd like to talk about, firstly, Super Smash Brothers. Well then, sir. Regularly, what do we know so far about Smash Brothers so far as of now? So far we know... If you get both Super Smash Bros. for a 3DS and a Wii U, you get the Mewtwo DLC. And the new game gonna introduce a new feature. Oh yeah, you get a free CD with all the Super Smash Bros. music. Hmm, that is quite interesting. Now, the, my biggest thing is. In the future, is he going to make any sort, sort of, uh, certain types of DLC characters? And yes, that's 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 what been everyone mind lately. If they do make DLC characters, who will it be? And another thing, can fans suggest DLC characters that might come out? And most concerns, who you think that might be as DLC characters? I know a good one would be Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. I think the Ice Climbers. Oh, yeah, speaking of the Ice Climbers, why would they take them out the game, though? Because of the 3DS. It kind of had a, uh, two people on screen at the same time, like that. So, in the 3DS, they took out the Ice Climber. Separate uh, Zelda and Sheik and separate Samus and her suit. Yet they had to take out my favorite character out the game. <laughs> I'm so in tears. It's okay, sir. It's okay. <laughs> Where did he all went to go? But at least we still got Sonic. Screw the Sonic. I, <laughs> I, I want the ice covers back. <laughs> but anywho. Don't forget about Pichu. We all miss Pichu. Eh, it wasn't all that important. Pichu was a great character, you joke. It's just a freaking involved version of freaking... Uh. He's ah, original. You messed up there. A lower ball version of Pikachu. <laughs> Shut up. But the point is, the only reason why Pichu should not be in the game to me, because think about it, a default form of a Pikachu, the original, the first form, what it would be doing in this type of game? Shooting people with the power of cuteness. And this is why I can never, never, ever play Smash Bros. with you if it involves Pichu in it. <laughs> I think it would be cool if they brought uh, Captain Falcon Arch Enemy for his uh, game into Super Smash Bros. for the first time. Yeah, but the, but the most idea is how his moveset is going to interact in the game. That's the biggest concern about the the whole entire thing. Yeah, yeah. But I'll be back. And so <laughs> now we gonna be talking about some the new some of the new games that are gonna be releasing out. So one of the new games that are gonna be releasing out on the same day will be Pokemon Omega. Uh, Omega Wii and Alpha Sapphire. And I can say for a fact, I'm going to be one of the people who going to go and play the game. I don't think I want to play. And yeah, why is that? I just feel like the story that awesome. So, I'll, if I could, I'll try to upload more videos of me playing Pokemon, but I have to figure out if I can set that up. 
But I'm interested in playing this one because as a kid, I never got to play Sapphire or Ruby Pokemon. I only played um, Pokemon Green and Pokemon Diamond. And go. And go. Oh, and Pokemon Yellow. No, I lost that one, so it's a sad loss. And I'll be talking about the new Kingdom Hearts 3 that's supposed to be coming out soon. And my opinions on it. And being like a, as a big Kingdom Hearts fan as I am, I'm really looking forward to its release when it comes out. Seeing a new part of the storyline of what's going to happen to Sora, Riku, and Kyrie. I think it's not a new game. It's a great show to watch in the morning. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sonic Boom was indeed a great show to watch. I have to say, I enjoyed watching the episode myself. I did not think it was going to be as good as it came out to be. I haven't played the game yet, but I hope the game be good. The show is. And as I say for some of the game stuff, the graphics is great. I don't know about the story yet, but I'm going to check it out. Also, I'm surprised to see that they got good voice balance to put in a cartoon. Good voice so, it seems like Sonic is taking a step up, finally, the amount of these years. Now, if it's going to still remain good for the TV show and both the game, that's another question on its own. Yeah, some people said there are glitches in the game, though. And one of those glitches are super huge uh, or bad is to the people who played it, because I haven't tried it out yet. I was looking forward to the Pikmin animation on the end shop that you can go back and watch. Stop it, Pikmin, um, fan. Welcome back, Devil Sasuke. Howdy. Well, well, what yeah. will your opinions be on a new Kingdom Hearts coming out? As you recall from the picture I sent to you earlier, with the thumbs up saying, awesome. So, everyone is ready for a new Kingdom Hearts coming out and excited about when it does come out and ready to see what is the new storyline going to be in it. The well, one thing I recommend that, that I heard so far the game is supposed to be part of, of Kingdom Hearts 2. According to what of the gameplay. So it's like a continuation of the storyline. More, more likely to be exact. Just think about it. He still uses double wield weapons in that game, and practically he still has the same uniform as it was from Kingdom Hearts Two. But my biggest question is, what's the difference? Yeah, I think that's a question all of us are asking. Hmm. Before we go, it's one game I wish would come to America, and that Yaku Yakuza's uh, Zero. Oh yeah, cause online I've been seeing a lot of videos about Yakuza Zero. But it only like, gonna be released in America. Like Yakuza Five was not released in America. But that'll be for another video. So until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.